A self-driving car pilot program came to an unexpected stop today. The federal government shut it down after a passenger injury caused concerns for safety. UDOT and UTA launched the driverless shuttle here in Utah last April. Fox 13's L. Thomas joins us now with more on the sudden stop. L. Yeah, hey Kelly and Bob, Easy Mile is the company that created those autonomous vehicles. They had to put the brakes on all 16 passenger operations, including the one that's really been taking the Beehive State by storm. But UDOT says it is the right choice. They're cool. You may have seen it cruising down Utah streets. It's really been all over the state. A slow moving boxy little car missing one major thing, the driver. We make errors behind the wheel and the whole idea behind autonomous vehicles is to take some of those errors away and um, and really help us achieve that goal of zero fatalities. Over the course of the last year, this little shuttle has made more than 6,000 passenger trips here in the Beehive State. But today, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration slammed the brakes on all Easy Mile shuttles operating in the U.S. The decision comes after one of the vehicles in Columbus, Ohio, made an emergency stop, as the company says it's programmed to do for safety. But it sent one passenger out of their seat to the floor. If it sounds familiar, that's because it is. Pretty much the same thing happened here in Utah last July. There was an obstacle that that uh, presented itself. The shuttle stopped like it should have, but unfortunately there was a gentleman that was in the shuttle that, that wasn't restrained and, and uh, lost his footing and, and uh, sustained minor injuries. The decision cuts Utah's pilot program short by about three months in two cities, but it's something Utah is standing behind. NITS has made the right decision here. If it's not doing what it's expected to do, then we're not accomplishing that goal of, of zero fatalities. We we want these to be as safe as they can possibly be. That's the whole idea here. UDOT says they will wait for further directions from NATSA, but in the meantime, they do believe they've learned a lot from the program that they're going to be able to apply in the future of transportation here in Utah. Live in studio, L. Thomas, Fox 13 News, Utah.